saluton kai bon venon al mia video tamen esperantistoi pardonu min chanun mi devas crocodili i'm going to stop that now hello welcome this is going to be one of those videos that requires some explanation isn't it um this is uh, even from a recording standpoint this is quite a weird game to record i've had to keep it in windowed mode for some reason so I'm 90% sure it won't cock up, but I, I just be aware it may be strange. Now, <coughs> this is a game, it's certainly a video game. The Expression Amrilato is a game, if you've seen the intro you might have some idea by now. It's <laughs> it is a game which, have you ever encountered a piece of art where you're like, was this made for me? Specifically, am I the intended audience? Like, this it seems very niche. This is a visual novel about two teenagers who get a crush on each other, and this happens because one of them gets trapped in an alternate reality where everyone speaks Esperanto, la play bella lingua. Um, now, I am an Esperantist, um, which, you know, they don't give you a card. They don't say, congratulations, you lo you know Esperanto now. Um, and I should also explain what the hell Esperanto is. Um, I should say also, technically, the language in the game is like a slightly modified version of Esperanto, but for all intents and purposes, is Esperanto. Um, Esperanto is a constructed language. It's a like entirely artificial language made in the late 1800s, yes, by a uh, clever gentleman called Dr. Zamenhof. I think he's, um, I'm not sure, he lives in what would be called Poland nowadays, but he lived, you know, it, these are the days of the Russian Empire, so I'm not sure where the actual place that he lived was technically considered at the time, but we would call it Poland now. Um, and he, uh, um, he invented this language because he lived in a place where there was a lot of tension between different language groups and he thought wouldn't it be lovely if we all had a common language and that was the beautiful ridiculous dream of Esperanto was that it would be an international second language like you might speak Russian or Polish or Japanese or whatever as your like native language but then everyone would also have this second language that you could use for international purposes now of course I'm going to blow your mind here by telling you that Esperanto, the dream of Esperanto, did not exactly work out as he'd hoped. And there's a whole dark history actually about how it kind of was used against the community during war times and stuff. That's a whole other story. But it's a wonderful thing, it's a wonderful like international little community, there's a couple of million people who are theorised to speak Esperanto. And it's a very easy to pick up language by design. It was, it, it's basically, imagine you combined um, Romance and Germanic and a bit of Slavic languages all together and took out all the kind of arbitrary bullshit that natural languages tend to have, like the fact that English spelling makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. Stuff like that. It is legendarily easy to pick up. And it's not that it doesn't have some quirks, because, you know, everything does. But there you go. That's kind of my very quick explanation of Esperanto. Now, <laughs> I heard about this game days ago when it came out and I was like holy shit I was just looking for something to play on the channel and this sounds exactly my shit. I say that, I've never actually played a visual novel before to my knowledge but the, con the, the subject matter was simply <laughs> too good. You have to do like quizzes and stuff, you have to learn the language in order to communicate with the characters and I'm like yes! Give it to me, and with, for all my boasting, I do not actually. I'm low to moderate Esperanto, I have to say. So I think I'll understand a lot of stuff at the beginning, but then halfway through, I'll be like, "What's going? What's going on? I have to learn." Um, yeah, that's kind of the intro, really. I, I I usually have a big intro, but to be fair, this this one took some explanation. Um, yeah, I think we'll just dive on in. Uh, this is going to be an odd game. There's a lot of just kind of sitting there reading the dialogue and clicking, but you do also have to make choices at some point. So I guess we'll just... <laughs> I was just tuning out for a second that I love the soundtrack. I love how it has its own ridiculous anime intro song. I was just hearing the electric guitar like... 
yeah. I was like, yeah, teenagers. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Why is it about anime that no matter how mundane the subject matter, they need this ridiculous intro? There's also another thing in anime where there's a point halfway through an anime intro where you always think it's about to end and then it keeps going for another two minutes. You're like, oh no. Ah, let's just start the bloody game. <sighs> oh yeah, there's a lot of, um, I should say as well, because the... <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of Japan in this game, but also the text is in English. And also, you're learning Esperanto, <laughs> so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a ling linguistic mix, really. Oh, it's it's, it's good. Why, why are you traveling alone? You're like you're like twelve years old or something, and you're traveling alone on the train. This doesn't seem sensible. <laughs> I like I like how her her face changes when you know the simple animation. I like it. Whoops! I accidentally scrolled up. Don't mind that. She's just complaining about the train. <laughs> I wish the train could move. That would be better than the train sitting still. Okay, I don't really. I'm not going to dwell on her complaining about trains. Okay. Well, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, thank you, I'm glad you acknowledged that. <laughs> There's no sense agonizing over my brief train journey, like, ugh, get over the past, man. Don't let... All my Nam flashbacks, I have to get over them. Yep. <laughs> I think this is... I Do you think the game is trying to subtly suggest a theme here, like, life is all about looking ahead and not forgetting your goals? That's just... That's just a weird thing to say after getting stuck on a train, anyway. Oh, oh she's got a goal. She's got a goal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what your goal is. Stop complaining. Just get to the point. Oh no, not the crosswalk signal in front of the station. This is going to be a, a, a pulse, a pulse quickening hair-ripping adventure. Yeah, they... <laughs> to be fair, this is how... This is like my constant inner monologue. I, don't, I can't just cross the road. I'll be like, okay, I'm crossing the road. Here we go. Okay, it's ready. What's that car doing? Okay, I think it was a good... Oh, there's a pigeon over there. Oh, and I wonder if when, when I saw that cat the, the other day, I wonder what the cat's up to. Oh, this is just... This is a realistic, like, how my brain works, to be fair. Her name's Rin, by the way. I should I should point that out. In case you missed that, her name's her name's Rin. I wonder what they taste like. I think I missed a line of dialogue here. Hang on. No, I didn't miss a di <laughs> I didn't miss a line of dialogue. I I thought I'd because she's suddenly talking about food. I thought I'd miss something. Yuzu's blissful and disheveled. Who is this? Who are we talking about? I can't believe you've never heard of. Are we talking about food? Someone's someone's teasing her for not hearing about food. Oh, she's an outcast. However, will she? <laughs> we should start calling you Borin. Ah, oh, I like I like I like Rin. Oh no, we should. Start... I no, sorry. We move on. I just had to dwell on that joke for a second. Are we talking about... What? Okay... What? <laughs> I think she's very excited to go eat some food. Oh, there we go! Tayaki? 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 I don't... I don't know... I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's like winter in the background, by the way, judging by that tree. I'm trying to set the scene and establish what the hell's going on. You know, I watched a video once about Japanese, not in the sense of me trying to learn Japanese, it's much more of a sort of overview of Japanese, and it seemed... 
incredibly complicated, which I know every language is, and especially, it's a, you know, me learning French versus me learning Japanese, they are very different languages, you know. English and French have much more direct connection to each other. But Japanese, it just, it seemed like there were so many different tenses and stuff, I was like, oh my god, I don't, don't have patience for this. Anyway. <laughs> That's not a comment. I'd say the same thing about Russian or anything really. It's just I was just I just because Japanese is going to come up a lot in this video. Okay, yep, she wants some sweets. The black screen is I just kind of want to get to another picture, please. Yeah, she's she wants Tayaki. She wants Tayaki so badly. <laughs> <laughs> she does the <laughs> she does she does the um the anime noises. I'm sure there's a pro Z D video of him just going ha ah, mm. <laughs> He does a lot of videos about anime tropes and stuff, and I'm sure there's one where it's just nothing but him reacting with weird noises. Whoa. It always makes me think of those old those like Sonic Adventure games. There's a lot of like unnecessary sound effects. Yep, okay, this is nice. I, I'm I'm completely on board with this game's art style. I think the, the animation was surprisingly good in the intro. Just <laughs> She's very excited. Yeah, uh, thank you. That's I think we've already <laughs> that's telling, not showing. I think we've established the Oh god, are we gonna get <laughs> Are we gonna get a painfully detailed description of eating Tayaki? <laughs> oh yeah, can't get enough when it melts in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> lock, locked on, incoming! Wow, oh we're just in time to get to the Taiyaki store. <laughs> when my last video I was like, oh gotta shoot all these things explode, I'm like, oh gotta get to the sweet shop. Oh. Bon venon. Okay. <laughs> Maybe, yes, yes, I'm glad you're acknowledging your deep character flaws, Rin. You are too excited. I had, um. I had a brief discussion with myself about, um, I, I think when some people do videos like this they, they agonizingly read out all the text and I really didn't feel the need to do that, especially since a lot of it is read out in either Japanese or Esperanto in the game, so I didn't feel the need to, um, I should say, I went about five minutes into the game just to make sure the recording made sense, I didn't actually discover any plot points, I just got to like about here and went yeah it seems to work. <laughs> Interestingly, because I've never played a game like this, you can do all sorts of things. Like you can go in the log and get them to repeat themselves. Yeah. I'm not going to try and say that because it will just be embarrassing. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't feel qualified. <laughs> okay. The t the two text options in this game are English and and Japanese, but obviously for the Esperanto dialogue, it will be Esperanto. Sure. Oh, <laughs> I love this big. She's got like a big blob has appeared on her face because she's she's anxious. <laughs> well, there you go, Rin. You just ruined your life. Might as well give up now. Understood that. I knew what that meant. I knew what that meant. I know that one word. That's it's the Roboto song, that's where I know that from. Ah, oh, the exact change. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. See, this is good writing. This is good writing. Having her say, I love sweets, that's bad writing. Having her... Because this is like, oh, she had the exact change, ready to go. <laughs> Savouring the heat, I guess it's cold. Oh, she's... 
moments like eating the weird sweets just you makes life worth it. <laughs> she's she's like, here I go. Have we been talking about these bloody sweets for ten minutes now? Crispy, but just the right amount of firmness. I'm sorry, for some reason I want um I want Solid Snake's voice reading this stuff, like, the part sticking out of the bag was crispy, while maintaining just the right amount of firmness. You know, that's what, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out why I was reminded of that, but I realised it's because the way she's talking about the sweets reminds me of that incredible scene from Metal Gear 3, where Big Boss gets this gun and just completely nerds out about this gun, like, oh my god, the trigger has been her, she had so, the barrel is so, it's been chiseled to within uh, perfection. <laughs> The subtle Japanese flavour. That seems like a weird thing for a Japanese person to say. It's like... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure it's because it's written for a Western audience, I guess. But it's just like, imagine me going into a chip shop and eating some chips and being like, Mmm, the English flavour. Oh, yes. The English flavour. <laughs> oh, so she's literally like... Oh, she's just... she's She realises she's just... She's chowing down. <laughs> I love her shocked expression. Ooh. Strangely, uh, for some reason, I couldn't get the mouse pointer, the cursor, to appear in the uh, recording. So I don't think you'll be able to see it. But I can literally fit my, <laughs> I can fit the mouse pointer directly inside her eyeball just now, and that's that's funny to me. <laughs> she was. She so she's just stood in front of the the shop and a big queue is for me. She's just like, mmm, I love it, it's so tasty. Like I guess that's good good advertising. <laughs> You'll never live it down, Rin. You just you're gonna you might as well give up on life right now. Oh, something. But just as I turned a corner, to to da. That back alley, something shocking. I'm imagining like the Kool Aid Man is gonna punch through the wall. Be like, ah, oh. oh, 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 we got, oh, we got, we got snowed on or something. What the heck? I'm sure that's a direct translation from the Japanese. What the heck? Authentic Japanese expression. Um, she appears to have just fallen over for no reason in this scene. It's like, well, to be fair, Lord of the Rings. One of my favourite jokes when watching Lord of the Rings is counting how many times Frodo is falls or is pushed over. It's literally something like 20 times in those films Frodo falls over. What, there's one or two where it's a bit ambiguous, like, oh, he sort of sort of caught his, caught his fall a bit, he's just stumbled a bit. What had gotten into me? Well, you got some delicious taiyaki is what got into you. <laughs> just some weirdo. No, no, the way you just fucking had an orgasm eating those sweets in front of everyone. That was perfectly, perfectly normal. No, no, I think everyone saw that, Rin. <laughs> everyone. What's that fallout meme? Everyone disliked that. Literally nothing would be worse than if someone fa saw me falling over. Not if I like broke broke both of my my arms. That wouldn't be as bad. So long as no one saw me. Oh, yes. Okay. Few. Are we? Are we? Is something happening? Thankfully, no one had seen me. I can't see nothing. How can you tell that no one saw anything? I just see a white screen. Oh, but something wasn't right. What's what's happened? What's happened? Have have the robots taken over? Oh shit, we've been fucking. We've been fucking psychedelic place with the pink sky. What's going on? I like. I like her fish food, by the way. Her fish. F <laughs> her fish food. Not her fish food. Not food for fish. You know, a food shaped like a fish. That's a nice touch. I was confused for a second. I thought she'd literally been eating a fish this whole time. But no, I see. It's just shaped like a fish. Incidentally, if you go to like the options screen, you can change how like 
if it if it seems like this is taking up a lot of the screen, it's only because I wanted to. Um, I think it's more important, especially especially after this video has gone through YouTube compression. I wanted to make sure that you could actually see the text. So seems fair. Oh my goodness! I haven't eaten anything. To All this talk of food is making me hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. Yeah, that's another issue. I, I tend to record first thing in the morning on a Sunday, which is when I'm just full of hangover and I haven't eaten anything yet. Sacrifices I make for you. Anyway, something exciting has happened. I was overcome with an indescribable sense that something was. Why am I keep? I think that the comedic juxtaposition of this 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 teenage girl with the solid snake voice is just cracking me up. Oligon, oh, I've been t transported into an altered dimension. Metal Gear. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. I was overcome with an indescribable sense that something was wrong. Well, the fact that you were c clearly in a different dimension. If I had to put my finger on it, I'd say that everything looked completely different. Okay. Oh no, how odd. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea that you wake up in a different dimension. You're like, oh, maybe there's something in my eyes. Nope, everything still looks completely different. Ah. Uh... I mean, I don't know what fucking weird shit was in this food, mate, but you've just you've just been teleported. Whoops, did I did I Oh Oh my goodness, I just discovered that by accident, but you can right click to um turn the thing off. You can just enjoy the nice art. Isn't that nice? That's a that's, that's a good it's a good thing. It's good. Oh no, it was all wrong. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Definitely wrong. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I rubbed my ears, but that didn't help either. Oh, here we go. Oh, she can't understand what people are saying. And then I threw up. What had you just been You've been eating this fucking fish food, which is what I'm calling it now. And you've been teleported into Esperanto, Esperantuyo. What's that to me? Where am I? What year is it? Oh, cheeky sip of tea while she was talking there. I can't think at all. No, you can't think. You're not a great thinker, Rin, I'm sorry to say. Childhood memory came back to me. Don't have a flashback in the middle of your traumatic interdimensional journey. I need to stop pressing the spacebar by the way because I just realised I think I've got a mechanical keyboard here and you'll just hear me going clunk every time I press the spacebar so I'll use the mouse. Ah, oh, It reminded me of that time I was a complete twit and ran off from my mother. I, I need to acknowledge the music by the way it's like it's got a good con con confusion. I, th I think we've established that you're lost, Rin. I'm sorry. Yes, this felt exactly the same as back then. Ah, I do feel sorry for you. What happens if I right click and then left click? Oh no, it comes back. Okay. <laughs> No, no, I think you're clearly in another world, Rin. It's okay to be scared. <laughs> Wait, hang on. It wasn't possible at my age. <laughs> Being teleported to another dimension at my age? I'm sorry, that just... <laughs> I'm surprised how often this dialogue is making me laugh, but like, I love it. It's great, but just it has a silliness to it. I knew this place. It reminds me of the time I fell into that other dimension. Something felt subtly different. I don't think I've ever seen G spelled with a G, so I just read that as Ah, geese! Ah, geese! Where am I? You've fallen in a pond. Oh, you've only just noticed the bloody huge the thing that takes up most of the screen, okay. Oh, I mean, it's very pretty. 
What is this alternate dimension where the only difference is everyone speaks Esperanto and also the sky is pink? This, this is a strangely specific alternate dimension, but then I guess things would just randomly be different. Yeah, she's she's like, oh, it can't be, it can't be it's evening. What's going on? Oh, that's right, my favorite topic. It was snack time. I checked my phone and confirmed that my estimate wasn't too far off. I, I checked my codex and confirmed that my objective was two clicks away. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, this is totally different. This the sky was not the right color. I <laughs> now she's listing all of the colors that it isn't. It isn't blue. It isn't green. It isn't red. It isn't orange. It isn't purple. It's some magical unknown color. It's called pink. It's called pink. It's not an unpleasant color, but it looked terribly ominous. <laughs> it's not that I dislike pink, it's just a bit ominous. Okay, yep, it's okay. Calm, calm down, Rin. Yeah, um, <laughs> oh, it's okay. Maybe I just hit my head and I'm clearly I'm having a delusion. If not, whoops. Oh, it's the fish food! I wish you could see my mouse. It's adding, I, I just sort of habitually point at things like, Oh, it's the fish food! I'm gonna have to work out this cursor thing for next time, it's bothering me. Could it have been the taiyaki? Yes, the fish food! <laughs> because of where she's bitten into the, like, the, the face, it looks like the fish is like, <gasps> The fish is so shocked, it's like, oh no! Yes, some illicit substance that was giving me hallucinations. <laughs> Is that why it tasted so good? Yeah, because it's full of drugs. This was serious. <laughs> oh no, we're all gonna be waking up in some weird dimension. This, I, I am curious what the actual explanation is for her being here, but I guess magic. It's a kind of magic. I've just found some weird paper on my desk. I was distracted by it. What the hell is that? Oh no, I'll get rid of that. Yeah, going back to the... Oh no! Oh! 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 We have some Esperanto. Now! Now, this is where I need to mention something very quickly, actually. Um... This game is all about Esperanto, but in the game it's called, for some reason, Yuliamo. And literally, the only difference that I can see is this text here. This is original Esperanto text. These are the familiar letters. This is what Esperanto actually uses. And for some reason, the default option, which I think you'll still see in the background a lot, is these weird... I mean, it's fine as an option, but I just, I'm glad it's optional, because it would have, like, severely, it's, it just seems so weird to me that they're like, yeah, it's a game about Esperanto, you can learn Esperanto, but also, we've changed half the letters, so you can't just read it, like, it's like you're, it's, it, it's, it's a weird decision, but I'm glad it's optional, because it might have actually really soured the experience for me. But I wanted to mention this because I just realised a lot of the backgrounds still have the, um, the Yuliamo, um, uh, letters on them. So this here is clearly Kuko, which means cake. But you can see here they got some weird letters which I don't recognise. So I think this, this says Sweet Sparrow, I think that's the name of the company. Chu Ami, I don't know what, you see, I don't know what that letter, I don't know what, that's like if, something, do, I don't know what this word means because, oh my god, maybe this is meant to like level the playing field because it means that even if you're an Esperanto wizard, you don't know what the hell anything says. <laughs> anyway, she was dumbstruck for almost 10 full seconds, Whoa. whoops, whoops, whoops.
Oh, shocked face. She's like, Ooh. she looks like the fish. She's got the fish's face. On a car, I'd have to be transported to some alternate dimension. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. There was some weird language that makes no sense. I really like the idea of a magical Tayaki stand, like ha 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 ha, you've eaten my magical Tayaki and now you will be transported to Esperanto land to presumably learn a lesson. Oh. What, what is this? Oh. Okay. Again, I like the idea that the city is exactly the same, except for completely minor and pointless differences. My nausea was quickly surpassing my fear, boy. Oh, she's trying to talk to someone. Oh, she's talking to a girl. Could this be the love interest? I was hoping she'd respond with, yes, you twit, this is correct. Oh no, we're not being understood. And then... She tilted her head with a confused expression, and then... And this is where I start cheating, because this is a phonetic... This is a phonetic... Um, like, this is not how you write Esperanto, this is a phonetic attempt at writing Esperanto. And it says, although it's a pretty simple question, pretty simple, simple statement, it says, Pardonon mi ne comprenas kion vi diras, which means, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Although, again, from context, it's pretty obvious what you can probably guess roughly what, what she was saying. She sh so she didn't even understand from context that that was probably what the person was saying, okay. Oh my god. She certainly looked Japanese, but she was speaking some heathen language I didn't recognize. In that case... Uh, excuse me! Oh, does she... does she... Is this an a is this an anime trope that always seems to be a character who inexplicably speaks English? Is this is this an anime trope or is it just me? I I bowed my head again as if in prayer, praying to the language gods. She just smiled at me and said, "Ne gravas," ne gravas which means doesn't matter, not important, something like that. I guess it could also mean, like, not to worry, something like that. And left with a smile. One unhelpful lady. Look, all that matters is we can read this sign in the background that says cake, so that's all we need. We need to walk in there, buy some cake. That'll cheer everyth everything up. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she sees a language that she doesn't recognise all over the place, and she thinks, hmm... Maybe a third language, which is also different from this language, would be understood. I mean, I can understand trying it, but it just seems funny that she's like, Oh, I've never seen this language. How about a different language, which clearly isn't the same language? Ah, oh, even after I swallowed my pride to display my barely passable Esperanto skills. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I briefly considered, I very briefly considered trying to do this entire video series in Esperanto, then I realised, one, no way can I pull that off, and two, the text is either in Japanese or English, so you're kind of stuck. And frankly, actually, if you wanted, I thought, even though it would completely break the game if you already... It would be nice, almost just for the novelty, to have a game where it's all in Esperanto. Now, I think, actually, having said that, I've just remembered, I think there is a, a, a language, yes, if you complete story mode you get a new, an, an exciting new game plus mode where you can go back with all the words translated, it's like playing Final Fantasy X and collecting all the alphabet spheres, you know. 
My enthusiasm levels have dropped to 50%. Don't be discouraged just because you're lost and hungry and confused. <laughs> I would just keep pestering random strangers. That's the classic English tourist strategy, to be fair. It has served us well for many a century. If you're lost in a foreign land, just continually annoy random strangers and ask them increasingly loud English questions until someone punches you in the face or understands what you're trying to say. Classic, classic strategy. Oh, and then she vanished? Oh shit, a weird... I like that doo -doo 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 transition there. Oh, is that the... Oh, that's the show, like, time passing. Okay, I thought, like, she'd fallen into a time vortex or something. Whoa. Not being understood by anyone was a miserable feeling. I mean, I think this might be the theme of the game, is maybe it's a metaphor, like, she learns the language, and in doing so, she learns to understand herself. I mean, yeah, I can imagine, yeah, it's disheartening. Oh man, I think the people in this town are just rude, quite frankly. It seems like if she's run around for ages talking to people, someone should have, like... The, you know, maybe, maybe... <laughs> was there not, like, anyone who's like, Oh, okay, I don't understand what you're saying, but don't worry, I'll take you to the tourist office or something, you know? Watch me a suspicion. <laughs> Suspicious foreigner doesn't speak our made up fantasy language. Yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. Aww, <laughs> it's okay, I'll, I'll go walk, I'll, I'll go for a long walk of a short pier. <laughs> I love that expression. <laughs> I went into a deserted. Are we going to see the deserted back alley? I like. I like. Uh, I, I think we are probably about to. But I just like the idea of like it describing the back alley, but there's no picture. Oh no! Here we go. Here's the back alley. Oh well, it's actually a black screen. But okay. Ah, <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't make fun of Rin. She's having a hard time. Why does this always happen? Why does this always happen to me? Da -da 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 -da. Why does this extremely specific thing always happen to me? Ah, uh, that's that Weird Al song where it's like, oh no, my friend died. Hey, wait a minute, he still owed me ten bucks. Oh no, this is the worst day ever. <laughs> Sorry, I've just got that song stuck in my head now. <laughs> Let's analyse this. Here are the possibilities. One, something's wrong with me. Two, something's wrong with the world. Three, something else is wrong. Well, I think, I think the first two things kind of cover it, really, but, you know. Well, I love she's trying to be analytical about this, like, hmm, perhaps. Well, again, you've already mentioned the Taiyaki. <laughs> Some kind of terminal, I, I only speak nonsense illness. I think that's called... <laughs> I think that's called being Scottish. Oh, I was trying to think of like the least offensive. Like that's called being from this place. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think the Scots will mind. What if it starts to affect my sense of balance? <laughs> At least I can eat my fucking sweets. <laughs> Why does it sound like you choke her like <laughs> It was at least as scrumptious as ever Yeah actually you know if the <laughs> Oh no <laughs> Like I suspect this thing is filled with illicit drugs Better eat the whole thing just to be sure Now I might be even more lost. 
のところ変化なし。I want, I, want, I want some explanation about the Taiyaki, I'm going to be honest. It's going to be... Forget about the Taiyaki for the time being, we just ate it, so I think, you know, it's kind of neither here nor there now, really. Something's wrong with the world? Well, that's, that's always the teenage explanation, so yeah. <laughs> Is it some elaborate prank? Has, did someone hit me on the head with a mallet, and then... Like somehow, oh my god, I'm getting. I need to. I need to change my sitting position. By the way, I've been sort of crouched using the mouse. There we go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Someone hit me on the head with a mallet just to, <laughs> and then replaced all the townsfolk with actors who were speaking this made-up language. <sighs> Foreign TV show I'd seen online. It was called America's Greatest. Uh, I, I I don't have a joke there. What the fuck? <laughs> they targeted people turning into a back alley broadcasting their surprise to a laughing audience. The person's path was plucked by... Did they, they'd like, mug them or something? What? Oh my god, this sounds like a horrible reality show. What is this? Whoa. A black room. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Why is this? Incidentally, this bit, I think this is meant to be like a bit of light. Oh no, I, I keep using the On her head, there's like this weird white line, and I keep thinking, I'm sure it's meant to be a bit of light, but it just looks like a pigeon is like shat on her, and it's like skimmed. I'm terrible, sorry. I'm sure it's meant to be a, a bit of light coming through something, but I just couldn't. It's not something in her hair. It looks like it's in her hair. So just it's um, it just it looks like she had a close encounter with a pigeon. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> this I'm sure shows like this must exist, and they must give people bloody heart attacks. Well, there was someone, you know, those like, oh, it's just a prank, bro, YouTube channel. Someone apparently like went into Walmart and pr pretended to be someone's boss and just said, "Hey, you're fired." And understandably, the victim started crying. And I'm like, well, "That's not a joke. That's fucking abuse. What are you doing?" Oh, I didn't read that last bit. It would cause so many problems if they tried to do the same thing in Japan. I'm not sure what she means by that. Does she mean like, like that people would just like not fall for? I don't like. Does she mean legal problems? Oh, oh, now she's like, oh shit, maybe I'm on a reality show. Yeah, your messy hair, like the bloody bird shit you've got in your hair. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's it's just, I assume it's meant to be a bit of light, but it just confuses me. And now she's completely paranoid and convinced she's on a TV show. There, on the corner. Oh, she has seen a light, she has, oh, oh she has seen a camera. I see the light. No, it's just a security camera, funnily enough. Yeah, yeah, you, literally the first thing you notice when you arrive in this dimension is that the, the sky changed colour, and you're like, oh, actually, it probably isn't a prank, because they couldn't have somehow changed the colour of the sky. Oh, <laughs> I like this character, but she does sort of just dwell on things a bit too much. Oh, they could have, yeah... You've literally just said, what about the sky, though? Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> it's one of those drugs that turns the sky pink, okay. <laughs> now I was starting to get somewhere. That... <laughs> her, her great solution to this problem is to sit there and do nothing for a while. Brilliant. <laughs> I mean that's that's how that's how Brexit's being handled is like we should do nothing. <laughs> okay, oh I see her logic. Okay. I think you'll just get hungry and thirsty and cold and Body die. Dragon. <gasps>
Okay, I will use the log here. Where was that? Oh no, that was the previous. Oh no, I can't. I can't do it. Oh no, it's not working. Bon on Targon. That means good day. What? Oh, she like. Oh, she... so she sat there with her eyes closed, and she hears what's clearly not a middle-aged man say Bon on Targon, and she's like, "Oh yes, a scruffy middle-aged guy." Wait, not like that at all. Oh, she's saying it again. Who is this person? Mystery person? What was that sweet sounding voice, Articon? That's just me, Snake! <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes I amuse myself with the silliest things. Yeah, I don't trust your ears either. I don't trust any of your senses. You've been completely insane this whole time. Oh, it's, 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 she looks, she's got the same face, but she looks totally different otherwise. Okay. Why are these children, like, I know they're teenagers, but they're like 14, uh, I guess if they're 14, maybe they're 14, I don't know. It's hard to tell with anime, everyone looks about five years old, but why are they just wandering around? After dark, in the city. Well, it's not quite dark, but... <laughs> You're not a middle-aged man! Yeah, no, no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> this is... This is the least weird thing to happen to you so far, Rin. Why are you like, oh no, a person? Why is this? Some sort of trick? Uh... Okay. Chumi povas helpi Alvi. Can I help you? Yes. Yes. It means can I help you? Can help Oh no, I'm pointing. Damn it. I keep pointing with the cursor and forgetting that you can't I don't think you can see it. It might turn out that you can and this entire thing will be silly, but in my recording test the cursor didn't seem to turn up. Chumi povas helpi Alvi. Can I help you? That's pretty... I mean, again, from context, maybe you could have... I think the word helpy sort of gives it away, doesn't it? If this was part of the prank, I had no complaints. I feel the need to Jimmy remind... Oh, oh, she's saying it again. Remember that this is a phonetic... Like, this is a phonetic spelling of Esperanto. This is not how you actually write Esperanto. I just feel the need to mention that again because it's been a while since we saw it. If this was part of the prank, I had no complaints. <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, don't, just, are you a reality TV show star? What's going on? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> so, that's awkward. But I guess that shows, even this early stage, I've encountered two words, I, or three words technically, and I don't know what they mean. So, it will be a learning experience for everyone. I'm not sure what the word for camera is in Esperanto, it might be... Fideilo? Maybe? I don't know. It might also be just be Camero. Yeah, yeah, I don't think, I don't think, yeah, I think it's pretty clear. Do you, you, you think? Maybe if, you, if she spoke English if you spoke English and she went, oh, English, then you know, yeah, I think that would be pretty clear she spoke English, but she clearly doesn't, so. <laughs> Unless she's holding up her hand. She's holding up her hands like, eh? Eh? <laughs> Sorry, just, I think there was just something. Hang on, can I go back? It's fun to stay at the YMC. <laughs> It's good to find comedy in the simple things. <laughs> so she's saying, Mi estas Ruka, which is clearly her name, Ruka. I'm not sure why the two R's, what, this, this is funny. I'm not, uh, apparently her name is Ruka. Ruka? Mi estas Luca. 
Mi estas loca. Mi estas loca. It kind of sounds more like an L on the audio, so I'm a bit confused. Mi estas loca. It sounds more like an L on the audio, but it says R, oh, so I guess it's Ruka. Um, she could also have said Mi no mi jas Ruka, which is literally I am called. But you could also just say Mi estas. It's just probably it's probably more impressive to be able to say Mi no mi jas, but it they both work. Yep, she was definitely not speaking English. She was speaking some ridiculous made-up language from Poland. Kio estas via nomo? Kio estas That is, what is your name? But again, you could also say Kiel vi nomijas. I should. I wish I had some facility to put this on the. I don't think there's like a text other than bringing up Notepad on the screen. I don't think I can write that. But I'm sure it's. Anyway, she's asking, what is your name? Estas, estas. <laughs> what was estas? What is is? What is is? She doesn't speak Spanish then either, I guess. Kievi lojas. Kievi lojas. Oh, where do you live? Where you live? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why did I slowly turn into skeleton? I was like, ha 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 as clearly evidenced here, you are moving your head. It actually looks like you're nodding, in fact. Where do you live? Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm impressed how much fun I'm having with the extremely limited gameplay. <laughs> oh. Oh, Perdis. Perdis. Have you somethinged? The travel? The journey? Have you something? And this is past. This is past tense. So it's a did you something? The voyon, voyon. Because I'm thinking voyage on, which is journey. But oh well. I felt so guilty. <laughs> this is extremely relatable, actually. Like I'm having a problem. Someone says, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "No, I feel so guilty for you asking if I'm okay." Oh, that's that is actually very relatable. Anxiety and depression. Mm. If some incredibly devoted person wanted to go through this video and add their own Esperanto subtitles, by all means, I can't be fucked to do that, but by all means. I should put at the end of this video my little, like, introduction to Esperanto I did about a year ago, that'd be good. Even broken language would be okay if we could just communicate. Oh, is she about to try some Esperanto? In that case, I should make an effort to find the subject in what she was saying. Oh, an effort to find... Oh, okay, we're about to do a quiz, I think. In that case, we should make an effort to find the subject in what she was saying. The subject of the sentence. <laughs> Yeah, maybe she looks concerned because you clearly can't speak her language and that's an understandable. She found you seemingly homeless down the back of an alley and you don't speak any of her language. So I think it's fair that she's concerned. Okay, I will listen. I'm, I think the game is trying to say, look out, dum-dum, you're about to get a quiz. Okay, listen closely to the next thing you said. Casually respond. Pricked up my ears. Yeah, you, you you prick those ears up. You prick them. You prick them. Just get ready. Oh, we've got fucking options. This is exciting. I think it's the first options we've had in like 10 minutes. Well, it's probably taking extra long because I just ramble about Metal Gear. Okay, so. The question is... Can I can I replay it actually? Chuvi parolas la lingvon Yuliamo? Chuvi parolas la lingvon Yuliamo. Now that is... 
do you speak the language Yuliamo? Now Yuliamo is this game's weird version of Esperanto which is 99% exactly the same except for some reason they have this weird alphabet again. I feel like I use the phrase for some reason every time I mention the alphabet thing but it's true. So she's literally asking us do you speak the language Yuliamo? <laughs> And evidently we don't, but actually I do, so... <laughs> um, now it said earlier, find the subject. Do you speak? But actually that's an object, because the, the, the N is the accusative. So this is the the object rather than the sub... Look, uh, Yuliamo? Which would be my reaction, because I'm like, you're clearly speaking Esperanto, why is this Yuliamo nonsense? Yuliamo? Yuliamo? I won't make fun of the pronunciation too much, but that just, that did crack me up. Yuliamo? She's doing the hands thing again, oh, Yuliamo. I'm sorry, I, I'm just a YMCA representative, I don't have it. Yes, Yuliamo. Um, incidentally, the um, Esperanto for yes is yes. It's just spelled with a J rather than a Y. Um, because I actually personally, this is a purely English thing, but I, I actually dislike that because it just because it's such a common word as well. It just sounds like I'm speaking English even when I'm speaking Esperanto. So that's why I like to say something like siete, which means certainly, just just so I have something other than yes to say, you know, anyway. She speaks, yes, Yuliamo. And so it was. Sa, so it was. <laughs> that just sounds like a weird thing, like, ah, so it was. It's just a weirdly grand thing to say. I'm going to stop hyperanalyzing every single line of dialogue, but I'm just so excited that something is actually happening now. I still have no idea. Well, she said her name was something I've forgotten. Ruko? Ruko? What is it? She's Rin. She said her name was Ruko or something. I've, I've already forgotten. <laughs> I was just making up conversation in my head. Just as I was scolding myself. <laughs> oh no. I, I, oh, that's like. Oh, that's like something's about to happen. Just as I was. I thought it was like just as I was scolding myself. No, it was like just as I was scolding myself. Oh, Jesus Christ. Chuvine estas correspondanto. Oh my god. Are you not a correspondent? I mean that's the only way I don't I don't know that word, but it might it might uh it might not mean what I assume it to mean, but But she's saying are you not this noun? Okay. It does kind of look like she's got something in her hair, I guess. Just because it doesn't... I mean... Uh, sorry. Oh yeah, from her intonation, see, she's been asking something again. That's good, that's good. You're, you're analysing the language, this is good. You're learning. We're all learning, we're on a language journey. How long... <laughs> How can you let this go on? I think it's pretty. I don't. I don't think she's as thick as you are, Rin. I think it's pretty obvious that sh sh you don't speak this language. You know, actually, I just thought I didn't make this connection at all. But I actually, I actually, I actually, my novel, which I wrote, it's it's, it's it needs a third draft, but it is a complete book. Um, my novel I wrote is about someone who has to learn this language and. I didn't know Esperanto at the time, but it's funny how, like, even five years ago, that that language interest was there. Yeah, it's about this guy who slowly... It's not, I, you know, there is no actual constructed language in the book. I just do it as, like, he slowly begins to understand words and he slowly begins to speak them. But it's it's all in English. I just do like like a sort of effect on the on the on the language on the text, so it, you can tell. Huh? Wait. Kyo. Kyo. Ah! What? What? Kyo is what? <laughs> I'm so proud of that. Like, yes, I know this basic word. 
Even if I hadn't got through something she said, they got through to me. Didn't you literally say the word yes, which sounds exactly the same in English, which is a language I know? Yes? Yes? Yeah, she said it again. She did it again. Oh my goodness. I, I, I should have picked up on that. I should have even picked up on that. Because Rin speaks English, I'm glad that they acknowledge this. English might just work. No, I don't think so. If only that were true. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> the unfortunate problem of English not being the language that she speaks. Okay, there's a definite there's a definite thing going on with ours here, so I'm not going to be making fun of that cuz that's obviously a Japanese thing and I'm not going to be making fun of that. But there you go. It begs the question though, is Rin the intended pronunciation? I assume, cuz otherwise why would they spell it with an R? Hmm. <gasps> <gasps> It's a classic anime noise. <gasps> Can we replay it? Oh god, no, sorry, it sounds a bit sexual when you play over and over again. <gasps> I just I just like the shock sound. <gasps> huh? She just froze up. I think you're gonna she's gonna lose patience with you in a minute, Rin. You've gotta stop like The only thing about this girl is she looks like she's just walked off of like a like Victorian fashion shoot or something. Rin is dressed pretty sensibly, but this is like, have you just been at a, a wedding or something? What's going on? Yes, yes, I'm afraid your pronunciation of the language he doesn't speak wasn't good. I really, even after establishing she doesn't speak English, I really thought we'd make some progress. Oh, here come the hands again. Oh, she's doing the jazz hands again. Hang on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to make those sound effects. I was just trying to do the arms thing again. And when you do it, it sounds like, ooh, eh, ooh, eh, ooh, eh. <laughs> Unintentional. Unintentional, I'm sorry. Yep, we can't communicate in Japanese, and that was my last ray of hope. Like the two languages you speak, you tried them both. I think we've established this. Oh. No, ev evidently not. <laughs> Hang on. No. As confusingly, that was kind of like Japanese there, I think. So. No, she can't bloody speak Japanese, Rin. Oh, she speaks a little bit of Japanese. <laughs> Sorry, I just fell over myself because Rin, did you not think to try your native language? Why did it take you ten minutes to think of using your native language? Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Rin. Rin, you're adorable, but I hate you. I hate you. I love you, but I hate you. She's like, oh, woe is me. No one understands Japanese. Not even this person. I do speak a bit of Japanese. Not even this person understands Japanese. Uh. <coughs> awesome. <laughs> We'd established communication. <laughs> we got there eventually. <laughs> Keep it, keep it, keep it, <laughs> keep, oh my god, I was about to say keep it simple, but then she kept going for another 10 seconds. Keep it simple, Rin. She speaks a bit, she speaks about as much Japanese as I speak Esperanto. 
<laughs> I accidentally went to my fake Esperan Esperanto accent at the end there. <laughs> Mine comprenas multa de Esperanto. <laughs> she doesn't understand a lot of Japanese, so be gentle on her, Jesus. I like that big white. Ah, I like that big white screen for a second, like she just had a fucking flashback for one panel for some reason. So, uh, uh, brr. Girl, who's. I like how she's mentioned her name and we still don't get her. I can't remember what her name actually is because it won't remind me. So she's saying, I'm sorry, but calm down. <laughs> Tranquiliju is literally calm down. I'm glad. I, th I think this is, this is gonna be. Tranquiliju, <laughs> Rin. Jesus. I think she said, understood a little. Yeah, calm, calm, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I speak a bit of Japanese. Oh, I'm so glad that everyone around it is... Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, now we're in a totally different place, apparently. Oh, and I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> we just got beamed up from the Enterprise, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I had a wry grimace on my face, but my companion was smiling sweetly. <laughs> she... I'm confused. I guess Rin is meant to be... Now that there's kind of standing up, I guess Rin is meant to be a bit older. But it's just a weird relationship because... You know, because Rin is like the outsider here, I assume she'd be younger. Maybe she is and she's just tall, I don't know, it just it just seemed I assumed she was the younger one. But now that they're stood next to each other, it it I'm questioning that. I <laughs> this throws my entire perception of reality into question. This girl was so nice. If only we were in a romantic teenage crush visual novel about Esperanto together, that would be this is the perfect situation. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, she speaks a bit of Japanese, but somehow we've got to explain to her that we are lost from an alternate dimension, and this is a nonsense language. Ooh, I'm just oh. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to translate this sign in the background that says Uajo. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> um. Up, 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 up. Yep. Okay. Yep. She's gonna help us. <laughs> the nearest police box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We. Well, we are stuck in an alternate dimension, so actually finding the doctor is probably a good plan. Actually, in all seriousness, you've got a good plan there, Rin. 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 <laughs> Forgot her name for a second. <laughs> I was like, Rin? Rin? Yeah, Rin, Rin. I have to say, I'm having a remarkable amount of fun for a game where you just click every few seconds and that's most of the gameplay. <laughs> there are, there's actual quizzes and stuff at some point, probably five hours from now, but... If this were my hometown, I imagine the later episodes won't go on as long because the novelty will wear off, but um... Yep, okay. Oh, so she knows where the police box is in real life, but in this weird dimension, she doesn't. No, this must be my hometown, except it's clearly different. A silly thought popped into my head, but it was impossible, so I pushed it aside. Kondoku. <gasps> Konduku, Konduku, Count Duku, Konduku, Kondu. I don't know that word. Kondu, Konduki, Kondukas, Konduki. I think it means something like lead you. Oh, <laughs> I love I said that like lead you. That's. I guess I'll just. I think there's gonna be a lot of repetitive dialogue in this game. That's just like. That's just like, did she understand me? I think so. Yeah, okay. 
I'm telling you, just rely on the classic English loud voice and frantic hand gestures. That's how people understand you. Oh no, what if in this universe a handshake is like a, a deadly insult though? No, no, it really, it really isn't a universal gesture. Oh, pleased to meet you. Uh, mi felicas rencontivin. There we go. You learned some words today, non Esperanto speakers. Yes. Oh. Are we finally gonna get this girl's name on the subtitles? <laughs> no, you didn't do a good job of introducing yourself the first time, and I'm glad you are at least learning, learning that. Oh, sorry, I was blowing, I was blowing my nose while that happened. Um, <laughs> oh, so okay, so she is actually trying to do an R sound. Interesting, interesting. If the but, I don't know how this stuff works because if that's not the native pronunciation, is that the closest to English? Is that the closest you can get in English? I, I guess. How strange! I don't, I don't. I'm not judging. I just, I don't, I don't. I genuinely am not sure how that works. I don't get it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Don't. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Nope. 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 <laughs> it's the sound of a white person really, really trying not to sound racist. Like, oh, I don't know. Jeez, I don't. <laughs> well, you know, I can see how. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Extreme, extremely white let's plays dot com. I'm sorry. It's best to it's best to be honest about my ignorance. I feel like that's the most comedic. That's the most honest comedic approach. Look, I made sure to place my hand on my. Ch I misinterpreted that as her chest, and I was like, "What? Oh, my chest." Okay, for emphasis. Would she get it this time? <gasps> My heart raced, and after she gave it some thought, Ruka, Ruka, Ruka. I said Ruka earlier. Similar. Ruka, that's your name, right? Oh, she's getting the crush. She's getting the crush. Oh, let me draw you like one of my Esperanto yes. girls. <laughs> Lead the way. Now that my energy was back, I followed behind this girl who held my felt in her hands. Ruka. Oh, we've teleported. End scene, apparently. Do, 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 do. Oh, interesting. Hang on. Station. Stazi Domo Nova Sunito? I don't. I don't. I. I guess that's station. Oh, station! Domo! Statsi Domo! Domo is house. Um, not. It's also thank you in Japanese, confusingly. Um. Supermarket. Supermarketo. No! No! Super Bizarro! God damn it. <laughs> that's. I prefer to say Super Bizarro, but that's. That's a point of contention. Oh. So hang on. Oh, so yeah, take me to the police station has turned into take me home. Take me home, Esperanto Road. Back to Esperanto, yo. Inter interestingly, I need to tell you this: the um, the Esperanto for um, like significant other is um, Coramico. Coramico. Now that's that's literally, literally the translation is heart friend, which I think is adorable. I think that's objectively true. That is adorable. The foreign writing on the utility poles. Well, there isn't actually any writing here, but there isn't actually any writing in this picture. But okay, I'll take your word for it. What? What? She's understandably confused. 
apartment? Question mark. Beckoned for me to join her. <laughs> this isn't where the TARDIS is. Yeah, you literally walked past the police station, didn't you? Bon, oh, hang on. Bon volu en veni is literally, please enter. En veni, because veni means to come. Not like that, you perverts. And en is in, so in veni. I love that brief, not like that. En veni is literally income. Not in, oh god damn it. Income, come in, enter. That's literally what it means. Bon volu en veni. Enveni, I should say, not enveni. Enveni. Huh? Wait! Oh man. We're seeing so many. After having. We've, we've had the same background for like 10 minutes, and now we're seeing a whole bunch of backgrounds. It's very exciting. <laughs> I love how she's upset, because she's like, where the hell are we? This is bothering me in the background. Why are the why are the paintings like at a weird angle? I like the footstool though. That's like a big. It looks like a big like marzipan cube. That's cool. This is the pinkest fucking room in the universe. N <laughs> Just non-specific aggravated sound effect. <laughs> oh, okay. Attendu, mi petas. <gasps> Attendu, ah, ah, ah. What did she say? Oh, not that. <laughs> I try to. Attendu, mi petas. Attendu, mi petas. Oh. Attendu, mi petas. Attendu is like wait, and then mi petas. Attendu, mi petas. I think she's saying me petas, which I think is me means I I bring, I'm bringing. I think it's like wait here, I'm bringing. Yeah, you've successfully made a friend despite your gross incompetence, Rin. So don't just walk off. Don't just walk off. <laughs> Rin and Ruka, R and R, haha, <laughs> how relaxing. Rin, didn't you walk past the police station, or was that the train station, I guess? I don't... Maybe it was the train station, actually. It would have been like Poliz... Polizidomo or something. <laughs> this is the police station, but I'm sure she's taken me to the other police station. Yep. <laughs> is that the sound of her going to the toilet? Ha. Oh, because <laughs> she's like, at least I could go to the bathroom. Ha! Yeah, don't just don't just stand in the middle of her room pissing. That won't. That will not. <laughs> she might lose sympathy for you. <laughs> what? She spiked the drink. It's vodka. Get your bearings somewhat while you're in the pinkest room in the world. <laughs> That's where you are. Ruka Ramai Ruka's house. What is this place actually? I could tell something was a little off. Yeah, I mean the fucking pink pink sky. Yeah, oh god, Ru oh Rin, you're repeating yourself a bit here. It was similar, but different. Okay, yeah, even putting the colour of the... <laughs> the icky feeling clinging to my skin... What? Is, is the actual atmosphere is different? Is that the, the Esperanto <laughs> atmosphere? <laughs> uh, at least I'd calm down a little, yeah, that is good. You're just back to repeating yourself a lot, but whatever. Progress. Now, how do you say thank you in Esperanto? Dankon. There you go. 
What the heck is she doing back there? Well, she had a phone in her hand. So that's a clue. Oh my goodness. Oh no. There's no signal. Oh no, the Esperanto signal is not compatible. <laughs> I like the idea of her being like, oh, holding the phone just all over the room and nothing works. Do the YMCA gesture with your phone. Oh, I wish I'd done it this morning. Woe is me. I like that does raise a question, doesn't it? I guess if the company isn't exactly the same, I don't know something about that. I guess it, if we assume that the companies are going to be different, then I guess because if like Vodafone still exists in this universe, it seems weird that the signal wouldn't work. But what do I know? What do I know? Yeah, once I quickly becoming a habit. Who's used you? Oh, he mentioned Yuzu earlier. I don't know who that is. Oh god, Jesus Christ. What's important? Oh my goodness. Well, you just established there's no signal, but I guess your point is you didn't try earlier. Oh. <laughs> oh, Rin. Rin, you comedic... Oh my goodness. Yes, we've established. There's no reception. <laughs> She's like, what will I do? There's no reception. Maybe I could call home. Oh wait, there's no reception. I'm exhausted on your behalf, Rin. Christ. <laughs> I knew it was bad manners, but I threw myself across the sofa with a plop. As long as you're not plopping across the sofa. Oh, is that... Where's she... <laughs> I thought she was going to be in the background there, but no, she, she's not there. It took you this long to think phoning home, except it doesn't work. Good job. <laughs> it's no telling how much additional stress this would cause me. I'd just have to ramble about it for another five minutes at least. Oh, what's her face is going to come back? I've already forgotten her name again. I'm so sorry. Raku? Ruka? 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 Raku? Raccoon? <laughs> Softness of the sofa. Oh no, is this going to be an anime like she opens her eyes and Ruka's just right over her? She's going to be like, ah, This was nice. Might have been nicer than my own bed. Oh god. She's going to fall asleep, isn't she? <gasps> oh shit! Actually! This seems like a logical end point, actually, for this episode. Christ. Oh yeah, okay. I was just thinking um, it'd be good to have a logical end point. Um, <laughs> nearly took a spill. Oh, incidentally, this is the weird alphabet here, but it says Chuvere, which means, are you, well, <laughs> the translation is right there, but it does say, are you sure? That's, that's kind of, are you sure? Or, oh really? Or, you know, just something like that. <laughs> yes. The fucking the fucking weird alphabet bothers me so much. Anyway, I think we'll just go back to the old uh, tile screen. Well, yes, chuve misertas. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> what an adventure we've been on. Um I think that the, the future episodes, uh, they won't take as long, but I thought that, I did think that intro went on a little bit where she's like, I'm at the train station, nothing exciting happening, here I am at the train station, I wish something exciting would happen. And then she spent about 10 minutes going, oh, no one understands me, maybe if I try English, no one understands me, maybe if I try Japanese, no one understands me, maybe if I try English again, no one understands me. And then the first person she meets who does know a bit of Japanese, it takes her 10 minutes to think, to try Japanese! <sighs> but I've still had a lot of fun. I've, <laughs> I've still had a lot of fun. 
I'm definitely, I really want to play more of this. Um, I hope the recording format isn't too weird. I'm probably going to try and work on that. I really want to try and make the cursor work. That's kind of my pet project. Um, I mean, it's, it's doable. I just think because there's so little going on on screen, it would be nice to, um, you know, it would be nice to have the, the cursor to point at things with. Because there were so many times in that video where I was like, oh, look at this. And then I moved the cursor there and I forgot that you couldn't actually see that. But, you know, it's good. Expression Amrilato. Bonega video ludo. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I'm. <laughs> I can see why I don't play a lot of visual novels on the channel, or in general, in fact. But this is a this this is. I I saw the concept. I saw the intro video, and I'm like, oh, I've got to play this. I've got to fucking play this video game. This is relevant to my interests. Um, Strangely, this is the um, this is the copy you can get off GOG. That's good old games. That's my favourite place to get games. But strangely, um, it was going to be on Steam, and it might be by the time you see this, for all I know. But then, apparently, at the last minute, Steam said, "Oh, actually, even though, like, uh, you know, just just for comparison, and this is content warning, but um, Steam, uh, I think last year, briefly had a game that they were selling on their store called." Rape Day, which is literally a game about rape, and I will remind you, it had rape in the title. Now, they were selling that, that meant, th this is a tangent, but it's relevant to this game. They were selling that game, Rape Day, uh, uh, it had apparently gone through their strict content restriction process and been deemed acceptable to be sold on their sh shop, and it was only after the backlash that they went, oh shit, actually, maybe let's not sell this. <laughs> um, you know, they 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 sold that game, but this game, like, a day before it was supposed to go on sale, Steam suddenly decided, actually, this game is inappropriate. Now, the developers come out and said, there is no sexual content. We've got this, like, official, it's apparently the official Esperanto... Association of Japan is involved with this game. It's not a fucking sexual game. It's about fucking teenagers who have a crush on each other. And, you know, it's it's no more, you know, you can call that, quote, sexual if you want. But, oh my god, I'm, I'm straying into some territory here. But you know what I mean? It's, it's like watching fucking, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a, a film with... You're watching a, a teenage film and like they might smooch at one point, but it's like, oh no, oh this is strange and exciting. That's what they'll say. It's just, it's just. <sighs> Steam is a piece of shit basically, and it's really random that this game. It's like someone watched a trailer and went, oh no, a visual novel with girls in it. Oh, it must be uh, like that terrible game we previously sold, which was literally about rape. I'm like. <sighs> I had to get that off my chest, and I wanted to put it at the end rather than the beginning, because it does annoy me. But this seems... <laughs> I, I tried to mention the content warning there. Look, I'm going to wrap up now. It seems like a wholesome, charming, quote-unquote, educational game about Esperanto, which is one of my weird hobbies. And I hope you're learning something. And if you're actually genuinely interested in Esperanto, drop me a message and I can give you some resources because it's fun literally um i know more es i'm more fluent in esperanto now than i ever was in german after like four years of learning german at school so take that with what you will now then um bonon dagon mi el iris el la video i couldn't think of anything else clever to say bye Vivu Esperantuyo. Saluton. Kai bonan tagon. Ju vi parolas esperanton? Mi povas, sed mi estas komencanto, tial padonu miai araroi.
mi lernis dum du manatoin, kai mi pensas esperanton estas bella lingvo. Gi estas ata ferita lingvo, ke combinas molta lingvoin. Mi lernis la germanan lingvon antawe, sed esperanto estas molte pli facila ol tradicia lingvoi. Gi al mi lernis ata feritan lingvon? Cha gi estas tre utile lerni nuvain lingvoin, kai mi havas molte amuso. Se vi volas provi esperanton, mi recomendas duo lingon, cha gi helpas molte min. Mi estas felice esperantiston, kai mi volas la mondon poroli esperanto. Dankon po via tempo, gis laura video.